Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. It is freezing cold. It is so cold, it's unbelievable. <laughs> My hands are blue. I was going to do two paintings today. I don't think so. <laughs> so, okay, I got a canvas, well, a bit, a bit of cardboard. As you know, I love painting on cardboard now because it's my, my preferred medium or substrate. This is 16 by 12-ish. And uh, I thought I'd paint something a little bit bigger today, a little bit more detail. And um, I thought we would concentrate on rectangles and things. So as you can see, I've I've drew I've drawn out um, what is sort of a lighthouse shape, just using. Now you don't if you don't know how to draw, or you, you're not you're not very good with drawing. It's basically rectangles. If you can see, there's a little square there with a triangle on the top. There's a rectangle there. There's another rectangle there, and there's a long big rectangle. Try and get your lines straight. That's divided divided into squares and there's another little rectangle long rectangle there and a part of a rectangle there don't worry too much about that and that's basically are going to be our lighthouse now i was talking about the other week about um lighthouses and i wanted to paint something for the bathroom i'm thinking of painting a mural um on the wall so this is the second stage from that other painting i did with the, remember i painted that lighthouse and it looked a little bit like leaning tower or lighthouse <laughs> <laughs> this is the second stage and this is what I do I love to play around with ideas so without further ado I'm just going to get a little bit of white paint onto my palette and as I do that and uh, I want to say that you know it's it is now officially winter in the UK and it is so cold that and and, and the fuel prices these days um the, the cost of living has gone up so much in in the uk I, oh, I don't know what it's like the rest of the world but it's 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 getting extremely difficult to to use heating so i've had to turn the heating off in the studio unfortunately and it is gone really 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 cold but there we go we have to we have to persevere so a little bit of ultramarine blue a little bit of white on my brush and let's get some sky in there you go let's put some sky nice sky nice blue sky i thought i'm i'm painting something a little bit more spring like today maybe a bit of warmth in the sky God, i took molly for a walk earlier molly's my little dog if you don't know i took molly for a walk earlier and it was so cold not as cold as some parts of the world i understand um the uk doesn't get like minus 20s or 30s or well i hope it doesn't anyway I don't know what we would do if we got to that bad, that bad, but um, yeah, it's cold enough. Uh, it was minus three this morning and, you know, that, and that might, that might not be cold for some parts of the world, but I can tell you in the UK, in the Wales, and it's quite cold. Um, it's not the coldest I've known it. It's, it has gone down to minus 10 in, in some instances, but um, yeah, it's cold. That's all I can say. It's cold. I don't like the cold. I like the sun. I like the I like the warmth. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is get my stick. I'm gonna put myself some sort of an horizon line. Uh maybe there. Where's my pencil gone? Maybe there. And try and keep to that. This is not going to be the finished painting, by the way. This is going to be the second stage before I take this onto a bigger canvas. And um, there's no point in me um, videoing that as a lesson. But I just wanted to show, people have been asking me to paint another seascape. So I thought, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I can paint a little seascape. Why not? I'm just brushing that lovely blue into that sky like that. And then we get a bit more blue, a bit more blue and white this over there I'm not overpaint my drawing too much some people like the freehand um, I don't like freehanding actually is um, I'd rather um, I'd rather do a little sketch and work to a sketch if I can I give an idea then and it gives you an idea and it's like painting coloring between the lines when you're a child it gives you just something to, to work to 
I would say. So <clears throat> there we are. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to get some, I got some Prussian blue now. I'm going to put some Prussian blue on some white. In that line there. Try and keep, try and use a little bit of painter's tape or, or something like that. So get that line, keep that line as straight as you can. My recommendation is that's what you do. Um, I'm not doing that today. I'm going to miss that off in a minute. I'm just going to bring some of this lovely blue type of colour just down like that. I just want to darken that up a touch. Put some shadows in there like that. If you've never painted on cardboard before, it's it's really it's a really nice medium. Once you get used to the paint, um, once you get used to the paint drying, because it dries very fast on 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 a, on a substrate like this, like cardboard, it dries very very fast. And if you, if you're doing um, craft fairs and things like that, then you want to paint quick quickly, and you want to show people different methods. Because um, I used to do a lot of craft fairs, and I used to do um, some demonstrations and things like that and this is what this is where that idea come from this is how i started using cardboard really but over the years i've got so many so many paintings up in the loft and stuff that um i just paint on cardboard now because it's just easier to it's just easier to um to store but i have got big canvases i got some big canvases some big canvas panels there we are got some of these big canvas panels down there on the floor this one is a 24 by 20 so um if i wasn't going to paint this as a mural i would paint it onto something like that and, and that could take me uh, quite a while to to get that the way i wanted it so because uh, i don't rush the big canvases there's no need there's no need to rush paintings it, People say that they, they can paint the painting in 20 minutes. It's it's you can, but it's not going to be perfect. And don't don't think for a minute that it's it is going to be perfect. It's not. Even the even the good old Bob Ross um, surprised himself a number of times because he used to copy his own works um, off camera. He used to have his paintings off camera that he'd spent time on. I've said this many times before, and. Um, and sometimes when he was doing the shows, he'd he'd surprise he'd surprise himself. He'd go, "Oh, I'm going to sign that one." <laughs> it turned out better than I thought. <laughs> and that's basically what it was. That's basically what it was. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using the same brush. I'm using this one-inch short flat. Yeah, we are. So I'm going to get some white on my brush, and I'm just going to bring in a bit of white across there. Just like that. Smooth that line down. Get a bit more dark. Because I wasn't happy with that that line. I'm not happy with this line now. That's good enough. There we are. That's good enough. I find it really hard to talk and paint sometimes. You can overwork things. I've just overworked that. I had it. I had it looking quite nice, and then I went, I went and messed it up. So don't worry. Just just play, have fun. Just play and have fun. And just let the things happen. If it happens, it happens for a reason. There you go. Just move that off after. There we are. So basically, there's our our water line. There. I'm just going to put this brush down now because I'm going to get a hairdryer. I want to dry that off. I want to put a, a quick wash of white colour over there just to mist that edge off. And then, um, yeah, well, I think we'll work on our lighthouse, I think. So what I thought I'd do before I do anything else is let's get a little bit of cloud. Let's get a little bit of cloud in the sky. I'm going to just going down to a smaller brush. I'm getting a little bit of this Prussian blue together, a bit of white. And I'm just going to basically fluff in 
some like cloud shaped things like this and the distance in the distance they get a little bit smaller and as they come forward they get a little bit bigger just like that do, 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 do. It's so much fun. You, you, you can have fun. People say, I can't paint. I don't know how to paint. You, anybody can learn to paint. Anybody can, can, can learn to paint. It's just very, very easy techniques. This is what they call a scrubbing technique. I don't work too hard um, with clouds and things. I just, let, I just let the brush basically do what it wants like that and then just smooth it in. Get a couple of stringers down there like that. Get a couple of stringers down there. Get a bit of shadow. Let's get a bit of shadow in. Let's get a bit more of that darker colour. Let's brush it in like that. There you go. And then we get some bright white, bright white. I just put some highlights on these clouds. Like that. Very effective way to to do clouds. Don't forget the light is coming in this way because the light is on that, that edge. So we need to bring a little bit of cloud just on his edge like that. That's all you need to do there. So we got some cloud in. We'll work on some breakers in a minute. But what I thought I would do now is using the same brush. I'm going to use my 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 cork on the stick. My this is my cork on the stick or my mock stick. And I'm just going to try and keep this as straight as I possibly can. Now my hand hand might be in shot, so I do apologise if my arm gets into shots sometimes but it's very difficult the way i've got the camera set up there we are so this needs to be straight but not too straight but at the end of the day it's a painting and every painting you've got a few mistakes and flaws in it and that's what makes a painting a painting. It doesn't have to be perfect every single time we paint something. So there's our first big. There's our first big um, oblong. There you go. Get a bit of blue. Just on the brush. Just pull that. It's a bit of Prussian blue. Just pull it like that. Bit of a flick. It looks like a shadow. And guess what? It started to look a little bit rounder. It really is, and we could do the same that side. There we go. 
<laughs> okay, so what I want to do now, get a little bit of burnt amber, a little bit of white, burnt amber and white on my brush. And now I want to do this oblong. Being very careful. There we go. So that's that's the first part of that. And then we can just make it just a slightly darker. Just make this slightly darker. And then we can come in. This is very difficult for me to paint on this angle. Two sides. Just like that. There we go. So it's starting to look like what could be, what could be. Oh, I like those. So we need to get that in the middle. So there's another square, just like that. We'll tidy that up in a second. Now I want to get some. I want to get some burnt umber and some white. I want to come down like this. It'll all make sense in a second. Thank you. A bit more white. If I burn them, uh, just plop it on like this. Maybe just a touch of blue here and there. There we go. So now we've got it looking like something, I think. I hope. So what I want to do now is get a... Is that dry enough? I tell you what, I'm going to have to dry that again, I think, just to make sure. There we are. So let's get our little brush, let's get some white on our brush and let's just put some little flicky marks like this. Do, 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 do. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Bit of detail, a little bit of detail. So, right, I think now, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we are. I think we're ready to, to get a detailing brush. And now, 
some white. black so we can step out of there on the top of that we could put a Bit of a weather vane there. <laughs> Very difficult painting at this angle. Not too sure. Trying to paint something in 20 or 30 minutes is, is quite a daunting task. I normally give myself a good number of hours to to paint something like this. But I'm trying to Do my best with the time I've got, that's for sure. Right, get some red. Red is always good. Not very straight, but maybe I should have used a square brush for that. I'm trying to keep my hand out the shot as well. I'm actually twisted my my body's quite twisted. Now if I bring that down 
on a little bit of an arc like that and you should get that feeling that it's rounded a little bit you can always correct that if it's too deep and get a little bit of Prussian blue just in the one side act like a shadow I'm not happy with that bit there maybe I should use this brush because it's got a nice flat edge on it better than a detail brush we've got a bit of shadow on the one side there now we need to do is replicate that uh, roughly there I think so we need to come down like that a bit trying to get my keep my hand in shot if I can so I can show you what I'm doing My back is hurting now. <laughs> get a bit of shadow. I get that bit of Prussian blue. Oops. I'm not there. There you go. So it's starting to look a little bit rounded. Again, let's get some white. Too much paint on my brush. Oh, I've got some red on my brush, no? No matter. That's okay as well. <laughs> okay. Cleaning the brush. Let's put. bit more white bringing some highlight into this there you touch just like that really be Right there, just like that. There you go. Um, let's get a bit of that Russian blue. Try and get this shadow to come in. Because I, you, you can spend a lot of time. I'm, I'm tr trying to do this reasonably well. Without 
spending a great deal of time on it which is not always the best thing to try and do but we do try in the studio to show you I need a bit I need a little bit darker there we go I want to try and show you that it's quite nice to be able to create something as simple as like a, um, a seascape type of painting you don't need to worry too much we'll just put some circles in here we make this more of a how can I say a cartoony type of effect because it's for a bathroom I don't want it to be I don't want it to be um, to be perfect I want it to look a little bit more I don't know what the word I'm looking for I don't want to be realistic anyway not this particular mural that I want to paint um, here I'll put a a little band there like that does that look okay looks a bit alright and maybe that maybe that wants to come down a touch more I don't want it I want it to be bathroomy but I don't want it to be it's a mural for a wall at the end of the day so that's okay that's okay so far so in that respect we'll put a, a doorway there I think we'll put a doorway in Mommy. just oh okay so a bit of a crisis there in the house <laughs> I had to rush out the off out move all my move all my um cameras and oh dear 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 me never mind i think i was talking about putting a door in so we're going to put a door in just like this at least my painting has dried a bit now so i'm painting basically on a on a dry bit of card which is good let's get some black a little bit of detail in work now there we go Welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And Let's don't forget steps to in. click subscribe. It's dark and not up a touch. There we go. I'll do. Looks like a door. <laughs> Looks like a door. It certainly does. Okay, so l I think I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to get some burned umber. I'm going to get a bit of some burned umber. Put some burned umber down like that. And I'm going to get my card. Put 
got some rock shapes highlights it looks like that's gonna work very quick way of or doing some rock shapes and things get a bit of black there you get the idea in a second bit of black This is all going to be rock, like that. I like doing highlights effective like that because it really does make for good shapes and when you paint in quickly, all you've got to do is put paint down and then get your card. As long as you've got a, a white base, and you can get some quite effective shapes just like that. Do, do, do. We need a path, don't we? Really, we need a. We need to get a path. Come in. Basically, from there. Gotta look rough, just drag a bit of paint down like that. <laughs> let's get um I'll tell you what we'll do. Um let's make that rock a bit bigger. There you go, bit big, bit bigger. Let's get a little bit of just get a little bit of white just to black there you go <laughs> uh. We need, maybe, maybe we could put, um, I don't know, what else, what else could we do there? Let's get some, let's get some more, let's get some more water. highlights a little bit just a little bit stronger just to lift that up a bit could do a bit more work I think I think I could improve this again but I'm not going to could put a few 
see you all then. Looks like a proper Chris uh Chris uh, it's not Christmassy. Seascapey thing. There's a few seagulls. A dot. We could, we could, I could put, maybe I could put some, would there be grass and stuff there, maybe, 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 perhaps I could make that a bit bigger there, maybe, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? The rocks and things, maybe just there. What's that? that? Could have a little pool of water, maybe. Just by there, because the, the waves have come over. There's just a little bit of water there. We could do some splashing waves. Oh, you you could you could do such so much. You could do so much. What I need to do. It's just bed this down a touch. Dark not up a touch there like that. Anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Let's put a few Marks at that. Okay, good. Shh. Maybe it's a bit of water. Big, big. I, mean, I will do a big foamy. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to. I just do a big bit of foam, just splashing up there like that. And then we could have this all running down into that water pool there. There you go. Shh. A bit of a bit of sea coming into the land. Shh. There we go. <laughs> a bit of wave. Just hit that rock, just like that. There you go. Um, could get a little bit more. Oops, I could get a little bit more. Colour just there, maybe. Another rock. I'll leave the rest to you, I think. I think I'm going to leave the rest. If you were going to have a try at this one, I think I'll just leave the rest to you, I think. I think I'll just... I'm going to call this a day today. I've got the idea. I've got the idea that I want to do it today. There you go. There's a few little rocks and things there like that. I, cause we, we, I suppose you could put some greenery in there if you wanted to. Maybe, maybe a little bit of grass or something like that. Maybe you could use um, uh, a raw sienna or a yellow ochre. Maybe you could put some sand or something there, or even a sand path or something. But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm quite happy with the way that is. It's yeah, I am. I'm gonna leave it at that. 
and um, that's definitely going to be a mural I'm going to work a little bit more on the foreground um, and think about something more to do there but yeah I'm quite happy with that I'm quite happy to leave that and it's, you, you never you can never stop you have to stop sometimes have to stop you have to make yourself stop stop painting stop painting it's time to learn with our friend Clive yeah that's a fun painting today I'm gonna leave it at that I've enjoyed that today I really have yes thank you very much I'll see you next time